Meanwhile, there is more good news for health authorities as additional ventilators are scheduled to be ready for use before the end of April. A group of engineers at the University of, University of the West Indies are repairing damaged ventilators from hospitals across the island to assist the government's COVID-19 response. Giovanni Dennis has this primetime news follow-up. Pulling down a defective ventilator to repair damaged parts. This is Dante Rodney, a biomedical engineer. These are ventilators from um, University Hospital. And um, we find out that the tubes inside mm -hmm. that are used for nebulizing the patients, they are bad. So replace all of the old tubings. Already, tubes in eight ventilators from the University Hospital of the West Indies have been repaired. But the tubes are just one part of the problem with these machines. We also have a O2 sensor. It senses the oxygen going to the patient. And those sensors are bad because they haven't been maintained. So being at Monatech, we're planning to do a full-fledged service contract where we can service all of these machines, get them up and running for all of the hospitals. Um, around Jamaica. This is the oxygen sensor he mentioned. We're taking out the, the old one. New ones have been ordered and should arrive in the island next week. But even then, more checks have to be done. This is where J. Chin Mullings comes in. His job is to do the final checks on the ventilators to ensure they are functional. We go to the ventilator verification test. The first step is to, to find out if there are any audible alarms. The first um, audible alarm, as you can see, if we can hear it, we confirm. Now a series of other checks have to be done before the repair can be completed. Monotech Engineering is the company these engineers work for. Dr. Paul Aiken is CEO. He approached the health minister with the idea of repairing faulty ventilators across the island by sourcing new parts. These parts in these devices, that most of them are not manufactured by the company that makes the device. They manufacture somewhere else. That somewhere else still has those components. And we could source them and use them to repair these machines. And so that is what you're doing now with right. all the parts? Exactly. So that the oxygen sensor that we're waiting on, the oxygen sensor is made by another company somewhere. And just how long will it take to complete the repair once they get the parts? So if we get the sensors Tuesday morning, the devices will be ready by Tuesday afternoon. Dr. Aiken says his team is working overtime to quickly repair ventilators that can be repaired. Currently, they are repairing about 20 ventilators from three hospitals in Kingston and they are looking to do more. So we are going to get the ventilators from the different regions, assess what can be repaired. If, if for every two we could scrap one to fix the other one, then that's, that's a plus. So we want to see what we can do in the short term to repair them. In the long term, if we can get the parts to order and bring them back to full life, then we look at that as well. But it's something that's very, very important to us to get these machines up and going across the country. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.